hey y'all welcome back to another video so we're gonna be doing this short set today um, my friend came in and she had an inspo picture so we kind of copied it like finger for finger we did change up the thumb but for the most part it was all a recreation so I will try to find the picture that she sent me um, hopefully it has the name of the original creator but if it doesn't I still will post the picture up here just to give some cred So to prep, I'm going in with an alcohol wipe. Um, well, this isn't an alcohol wipe. This is a lint-free wipe and I do have alcohol or acetone on it, whichever one works for you or whatever you have um, nearby. And then I'm going ahead with the Mia Secret Extra Bond. That is the first primer that I put on the nail. And then I double back with some No Lift Primer that I do uh, purchase off of Amazon. Both of these are purchased off of Amazon, but the, the No Lift Primer comes after the Extra Bond and I do one coat of that as well. Y'all are gonna have to forgive me because I cannot remember for the life of me what shade this was from 876, but this was an acrylic from 876. I do believe that is from her new collection um, of nudes. So I'm really not sure. I know it's not nude. I know it's not nudes, please. Um, but this color is very similar to nudes, please. It just has a little more of a pink undertone than nudes, please does. So, um, yeah, I really cannot tell you guys what shade this is, but all of the acrylics by A76 are pretty nice. Um, and uh, they have a really, really wide range of nudes. So if you are looking for any like pinky nudes or just um, kind of neutral nudes, I would recommend going to 876. And of course I do have a code so you can save a little percentage off of your purchase. And all of my codes that I have for any brand are linked down below in my description box. And I also have an Amazon storefront where you can purchase uh, a lot of the things that I use in my videos um, through Amazon. feel like everybody is coming to me for shorty sets like ever since I did I think a short set maybe like two months back everybody has been coming to me for short sets and I'm not mad at it you guys I'm not mad at it at all because money is money and honestly with short sets you can make a good 80 to 100 dollars um like yeah, you can definitely make anywhere from the basic ones or 50 and then they go up to sometimes $120 just for a short set. So don't think that because people are doing shorties that they aren't making no money. Like you can definitely make money with shorties um, or short sets just doing add ons. So, so yeah, let me know down below in the comment section how much you think I charged her for this short set and I will like or love anybody's comment who is correct. Actually, I lied. I will put an additional heart under your comment if you are correct because I always like and love everyone's comments under all of my videos. So that would kind of be, yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> I am going to let you all watch this application. And then once we're done with the application and we get to the filing, I will be back.
Okay, I'm back sooner than I thought, but I did want to come in and mention that I do have a new video out. It's a Timu video. If you, if anyone watching this is interested, um, it's a really cute video. Like I had so much fun making that video, you guys, and I was so excited to test out all the new stuff that I had bought. I bought that stuff a while ago and I was so excited to finally test it out because I had been waiting. Like I really wanted to do my makeup and get cute for the video when I made the video, but I couldn't wait any longer. So I just went ahead and ended up making the video as I was and it still came out good um I really enjoy making it and I hope you guys find that video interesting let me know if you already watched it and do you like videos like that I have so much fun making videos like that some of it is like nail content it's kind of like nail content but not because I did include some nail stuff that I got from Timu but the entire video in a whole um wasn't necessarily all of you know nail decor or nail charms anything related to nails it was um a mixture of stuff like electronics makeup um nail stuff what else I got so much stuff from Timu like it's ridiculous I'm addicted but I feel like people who do nails like if you do nails and if you're into nails you're probably into like makeup too or you know even like little stuff like lip glosses eyeshadows um body scrubs you know different stuff like that so that's why I kind of mesh the two together as far as like what I got from Timu and I thought it would be a neat video for you all to watch on my channel so so yeah, I will link that video above for you if you do want to check it out. And if not, I have tons and tons of other nail videos, especially shorties now. I've been doing a lot of shorties on my channel lately, so you have a lot to flip through. Okay, so as far as the filing goes, I am just gonna show you f like different fingers, but the steps of me filing. So the first thing that I do is I take a five and one bit and I do go around the cuticle area and seal in my cuticles. This is going to prevent any lifting um, from that area. The more flush your cuticle area is, the better your nails will last and the longer your nails will last. Uh, so, excuse me, I don't know why I'm getting like tongue twisted but anyway so next I'm going in with a 100 100 grit or 80 80 grit file that's what I usually use I believe this is a 100 grit from is this from not polish I think this is a not polish file but I'm just going ahead on the sides I did leave this in real time so you guys can see just how slow and careful I am when I am filing I don't go super fast especially on shorties and I usually don't have too much to file when I do shorties so this is exactly how I file and I'm terrible at explaining the angles of what I do for filing so I do try to just let you all watch 
um, this part of the video when I am filing and how I'm doing it, how I'm positioning my file when I tilt it underneath the nail and then I kind of bring it up to the side. Um, I always make sure that I face the hand this way just to get another angle um, and basically see what they are going to see when they have their hands out in front of them. And then I do an additional filing that way. After I'm done filing like that, I will go in with a buffer and I'm gonna use the coarse part of the buffer first and then I will go back and I will use the smoothing part of the buffer and then that is it I will let them usually I let them get up and wash their hands but today I did not do that today I just went ahead after I finished buffing and smoothing out all of her nails I wiped all of her nails off with some alcohol with the lint-free wipe and then I proceeded to go in with the gel polish and do the nail art Oh, and of course, I almost forgot to mention this part. Um, of course, I'm going to go under the nails and just clean that up. I am also thinning out the tips of the nail because you do not want your tips to be super thick. That is not attractive. Um, and yeah, it's just it makes it a cleaner look. It's really, really nice. You don't want shorties to be thick at all. Honestly, shorties do not have to be thick. Um, it's very hard to break a shorty unless you just have some really bad acrylic or you did not seal the cuticles in or the tip was not the right size or something like that. But typically, um, shorties do not have to be thick. You don't really need an apex with them at either. Um, they're pretty sturdy as long as you are using a good grade or a good formula of acrylic powder. So again, for the nails, I am going to be going hand to hand. So some of the nails you will see on this hand or some of the designs you will see on this hand and then some of the other designs you will see me doing on the other hand, but you will see every single finger except for the thumb. I am sorry, I did not get the thumb on film because my uh, my camera ran out of storage and I forgot to delete some apps and uh, the last video that I posted. So yeah, it cut off, I think, I don't know when it cut off. It had to have cut off when I was doing um, some polishing on one of the fingers on this hand. I'm really not sure, but I did get every single finger except for the thumb in it, but I will show you what the thumb looks like. At the very end, the thumb was a French tip and it was um, a French tip with crock print on it. Super, super cute. It was, it was really cute. I wish I would have caught that on camera, but I will definitely do a design like that on another set just so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about and how I got that look. But for right now, we are doing, um, I had to mix this gel polish because this is the color obviously that matches the picture that she showed me and she said she wanted it to be pretty um pretty much just like the picture color and everything so i did have to mix a green and a super light blue and we came up with almost the color like almost the exact color that we saw in that picture so um yeah it was really cute i love this color kind of like a turquoise super super pretty and then we're going ahead and making some drips on this finger the solid finger is where my crock print is going to go um the hands do not match so the hands are going to be mix match meaning uh these designs are going to be the same on the other hand but they are going to be on different fingers Okay, so let me tell you about this finger. This finger was so easy. And let me tell you how much I overthought this design before she even came in. I really thought that we were gonna be on this design for hours, you guys, because the, I've tried this design before and I don't know what it was, but it did not come out as good as it did today. I am so happy that they came out super cute. If you can see in the background, I was referencing the photo that she brought in. So I was able to pretty much just copy it, look back and forth. Um, I do like to have a picture of whatever the inspo is that they have brought in. I like to keep it open on my desk while I am drawing so that I can look back and I don't have to keep stopping and checking the photo, stopping and checking the photo. So I do recommend that if you have somebody that wants a reference photo and they want it to look just like that picture to already have that picture out while you are drawing, especially if you are not a good 
um, artist or drawer because I cannot draw you guys. I have really just been winging it for the past few months with these um, illustrations on the nails or this artwork on the nails, but it has been working for me and I highly, highly recommend that you have a picture sitting right next to you so that it will just be easier for you to get the artwork done in a timely manner, you know? So um, yeah, I am doing another drip on this finger just because it was a better um, position that I had the finger in so you guys could see a little more detail. Um, this middle finger that I have right here is actually going to be French tip with, uh, yeah, just a regular French tip. And then the thumb, like I said, is gonna be French tip with crop print. And this, I just had to let some of it cure because I did not wanna mess up um, the extra lines by blending them in with the other lines. And if I did, I wanted it to be able to wipe away. So that is why I cured the line separately, but I am just gonna go ahead and top coat this. Now I do top coat as I go. Um, some nails I will top coat as I go and some nails will not be top coated. So that's why it looks like that. Um, the pinky on this finger is going to be the white uh, swirly lines that you just saw. And I'm gonna show you guys how I get the crock print. Now I did have to insert another video in this video to show you guys because I did not realize how out of frame I was with this crock print. But if you pay attention to the video on the right, um, this is how I get my crock print. This is exactly the steps that I do. Super, super easy. If you want a slow down version, it is posted on my Instagram and you guys can refer to that. But this is how the set came out and I thought it was super, super cute. Like it was so clean. I love it. I will do this set over and over and over again. I hope more people come in asking to get this. Um, maybe different colors, maybe some bling added because I love bling. Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it was super short today, but I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in the next one. Mwah. Bye. Oh.